This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Good morning from Athens, Greece. So we arrived early yesterday, but we were so exhausted from our 30 hour travel day. In case you missed our last video, we actually had a six hour layover in Singapore airport and we had such an amazing time. So make sure you guys check that one out. Wow, it looks like you're walking into a jungle. Wow, uh, that is so cool. Definitely worth leaving for. So the first thing we did when we got to the city was went and had a typical Grecian meal, which was called Slovaki. It's like grilled meats and veggies on sticks. So, so we good. had grilled mushrooms and grilled mixed vegetables and it was amazing. And we also had these Greek fries that had shredded fatted cheese on top. Oh, so good. And today we're going to go get some coffee and explore all the things to do in Athens. So long since we've had good pastries. So this coffee shop's pretty cool. You actually choose the coffee you want. They have Guatemalan, Brazil, Ethiopian, or Kenya. They all have different flavors. I actually got the Ethiopian and Sammy got the Guatemalan. So good. I've had a flat white soba. We just had a delicious coffee and some pastries and the view overlooks the acropolis here it's so beautiful it's pretty early but still everybody's out and about we are a little chilly though we don't have any warm clothes been in southeast asia for such a long time so we might be looking to do some shopping today too Walking up to the Acropolis now, it's where all the fun ancient things are, namely the Parthenon. So we're gonna go up there and see it, see all the other really cool things to check out. It is a beautiful morning, the weather is perfect, and I'm super excited to be here back in Europe. Let's go. The air is so clean, it feels so good and fresh. It's so nice. So it's pretty weird, I thought it was gonna be crowded, but we haven't seen a tourist yet. And it is open, it is just about eight o'clock. We recommend arriving to the Acropolis as early as you can to beat the heat and the crowds. Our combined ticket we purchased allowed us to see the seven sites over a period of five days. So this ticket was perfect for us because we were interested in seeing as many of the archeological sites as we could in the next 48 hours. So we just bought our tickets to the seven historical sites. It was 30 euros a person. It was really convenient to be able to walk directly up and purchase our tickets with no line. My key to the city worked. <laughs> Steps so it's really weird. They wouldn't let me take in my microphone. They don't want us publishing professional video. I was like, I'm far from professional. It's a joke. But so you guys are stuck with not so great audio. We apologize, but that's not very windy today. It's the Acropolis's fault. Welcome to the Acropolis. The Acropolis is iconic in Greece and chances are you will be making a stop here when you visit Athens. 
It is essentially the remains of several ancient monuments that were built on the top of the hill in the city. Once at the Acropolis, you can see the most notable site being the Parthenon and others such as Athena Nike, the Erechtheion, and the Propylia. We listened to a free audio tour by Rick Steves to get all of the history as we wandered through the incredible ruins. Crowned by the mighty Parthenon Temple, the Acropolis rises above modern Athens. Don't forget to take in the amazing views of the city before heading back into town. So we just left the Acropolis. It was full of lots of old marble and lots of history. That was super fun to learn about. And now we're heading over to the Museum of Ancient Agora. And Agora means marketplace. So it's an ancient marketplace. We bought the pass that gets you in all the sites. So we're gonna go to all the sites. You can see most of them from the outside. We're gonna go in and touch all the old marble. And actually you're not allowed to touch the marble. Read the sign, Sammy. Sorry. <laughs> through Uncle Ricky's tour. I'm not listening to another hour. I actually brought us to the Roman Agora, which is fine. Our city ticket included it, but we did not make it to the Athens Agora. Anyway, we're hungry, we're gonna go get lunch, and then we're gonna go to the big Agora. It is still early, but we did ask for permission if it was okay to drink beer this early, and they said yes, so. <laughs> Salud, baby. It's a new one, and it's good. It is called this. <laughs> it's an interesting way to hold that beer can. <laughs> it's the only way to show you this. <laughs> so hungry. All right, so we came to this cute little vegan restaurant and ordered some veggie pita wraps that comes with a salad and nachos on the side with good looking chips with some hot sauce looks like on top. We also ordered a Greek salad, which I'm so excited about because we have not had Greek salad in so long. It has feta cheese, olives, tomatoes, and we're ready to dig in. Oh, it looks so good. It looks delicious in my cucumbers. Yum. <laughs> This is a vegan restaurant, so the feta cheese is made out of coconut. It tastes better than feta cheese. It, it is really does. so good, and it's so creamy. You would never think it's not feta. But then when you think about it, that it's coconut, you get like the slightest hint of coconut. This is actually amazing, isn't it? Like my mind is blown. All right, let's do it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. See you tomorrow. All right, that meal was amazing. It was so nice to have healthy, delicious food. But now we're officially heading to the Agora, the ancient Agora. Let me get that right. I know, but we have to walk through the gauntlet first. It is time to thank the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. If you guys are unfamiliar with Squarespace, they are an all-in-one platform where you can easily design a website, buy a domain, and host a website all in one place. As Tommy and I continued to discover new places, we wanted a place on our website where we could house all of our incredible photos that we've been taking. With Squarespace's award-winning website designs, we were easily able to create a gallery to house some of our favorite shots. We love how incredibly user-friendly Squarespace is, allowing us the freedom to change the look and feel of our website whenever we want. So if you guys are interested in finally creating your own website or launching your next passion project, head to squarespace.com forward slash Sammy Tommy for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain 
We will leave a link in the description box below and let's get back to the video. The gauntlet. So we are right at the main tourist area where all the shops are. You know, where you get like the souvenirs that you bring home to your family. In Greece, they have the evil eye, same as Turkey, which I love. It's like one of my favorite little symbols. Sammy so already cute. found like seven bracelets she wants you to buy. You the gauntlet and you have to buy everything. So we're going back through there now <laughs> to the next tourist site. <laughs> One thing I'm super excited about being back in Europe is we have gelato again. Sammy walked in her first jewelry shop and she already bought something. Let's see your new necklace. What'd you get? The evil eye necklace. I love it so much. After lunch, we headed to the ancient Agora. This is one of the larger sites in Athens, and whether you go solo, take a tour, or download a free walking tour like we did, started the walking tour for the Agora. You will find yourself steeped in history and imagining what the lives and daily routines of the ancient Athenians were like. At the ancient Agora, you are also able to see the most well-preserved temple in Greece, the Temple of Hephaestus. The restored stoa is now the Agora Museum, and you can find art dating back to the Stone Age and many other ancient artifacts. So we're listening to Rick Steve's walking tour, and we're standing here in the middle of the Agora, and he says to think back and imagine way back in the day, this is where they created democracy. In the middle of this marketplace was a big theater, and that's where democracy was invented, right here. After visiting a few different historical sites, we decided it was time to just roam around and get a feel for modern day Athens. We are right across the, from the parliament right now, and they just did a changing of the guards, which was very interesting. interesting. Yeah, we've seen changing of the guards before, but we've never seen anything quite like that. They move in like slow motion, and they have tap shoes on with big pom poms. It's kind of like a dance change of the guards. And their faces are so serious. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna start Rick Steves' walking tour, our third one today. Yeesh. History, Athens. Let's go. First stop is the Satagma Square. It's where the busiest metro is, surrounded by the parliament, which we were just at watching the change of the guard. And one of the busiest places in the capital. So now we're on the famous Irmu Street. I don't know if I said that right, but it's where all the big retailers are now. It used to be kind of a traditional street everybody used to walk through. Still a walking street now, but just a bunch of retail shops. And of course, Sammy shopping. <laughs> Winter clothes because it's so cold in Greece. Two bags. Two bags? You got stuff, he got stuff too. <laughs>
we just dropped our bags off real quick back at our apartment here and we're kind of Rick Steves out for today. <laughs> bailing, bailing on the tour. We're gonna go grab some falafels, we're gonna eat them up, and we're gonna start again in the morning. Strong, with energy. I like the plan. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Enjoy you guys. Cheers. This has eggplant in it. Oh my god, these falafels look amazing. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. This is the best falafel wrap I've ever had. It was only like three euros. So good, so cheap. Don't miss it. Oh yeah. That was gross. It didn't look mouth. You can try to get now. Did you look good? Too big a bite. <laughs> Guys, it is a little chilly this morning here in it's Athens. So cold. We are going to continue our walking tour and go to a museum today. Any other plan? Um, maybe finish up our city ticket if we feel like it. Yeah, there's a couple of big sites we're missing. I think one of them is the what's the Zeus one? The Zeus one. We're going to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> outside the Temple of Zeus and we just learned back when it was built it was the same size as the football field and twice the size as the Parthenon. So crazy. I can't imagine how big it was back then. Mr. Rick Steve actually told us to take a break now before we hike up to the Acropolis and we had to listen to everything he says so it's coffee break. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Have a good day. Cheers. Hello. Takeaway is double the price. Three euros for coffee or a euro fifty for takeaway and we're in a tour spot we've been getting our coffees for a year but anyway takeaway is the way to go so you don't pay for table service After a quick coffee break, we decided to check out the quaint little neighborhood of Ana Fiotica. So this neighborhood we're in is so cool. It's just these local homes. They kind of look like beach homes. So beautiful. Everything white, blue shutters, blue doors. These whitewashed island style houses are just below the north slope of the Acropolis and full of charming little gardens and narrow walkways and lots of little kitties. So we just walked up almost to the top of the Acropolis. The views up here are so amazing. I love how Athens is so flat. They only have a couple mountains in between. So when you get on the high peak, you can just see the whole city. So now we're back in Monstraki Square. It's kind of the main hub here. We've been through it a couple different times. 
We actually found this fruit vendor behind me. It is the best strawberries we have ever had. So amazing. I went back this morning, bought some more and some olives. They're so friendly and so delicious. If you're in Monstrocki Square, buy some of these strawberries. Amazing. <laughs> So we just finished our walking tour. We're gonna head back to that vegan restaurant we love so much. The menu looks so big and so delicious. We got to eat there one more time. What'd you get us? Some really yummy, yummy foods. So we did the mushroom gyro, which we haven't tried yet. My God, it feels so warm and hot. I'm so ready to eat that. And then the Greek salad again. That's always a good sound. <laughs> it is. After some history and touring around, a beer is always a good idea. Mm. The mushroom tastes like chicken. This is the best thing we've eaten so far. Really? Mm -hmm. Better than the falafel we had yesterday. Better than the, pe the veggie pita wrap. This is the best. You have to get your own. <laughs> so much air. Wow. You're right, that's so good. Another amazing lunch. Oh my God, the food was so good. Vegan Beat, if you're in Athens, make a trip. It's a perfect location, kind of right in the middle of everything too. The workers are so friendly and nice, but the food is amazing. Now we're gonna head back to Hadrian's Library. We're gonna check that out. We're also gonna head to the Acropolis Museum. And I think that's it for the day. Thank you. So we officially used up all our spots on our ticket, and this is our last stop. This is Hadrian's Library. We just entered in. So we are a little chilly now. We're gonna head to the museum, go inside, warm up. The Acropolis Museum is ranked one of the world's best museums and houses over 3,000 ancient artifacts from the Acropolis. We highly recommend a visit to gain a deeper insight into the Athenian Acropolis history. so perfectly in a way so you can come in this room and look out the window and see the Parthenon. They have all these chiseled out parts from the Parthenon here in the museum. They took them all down to keep them for safekeeping because all the pollution. So cool to see all the different parts how it used to look like. They have excavated pieces all over that museum, a bunch of tablets, all the designs they had. It's crazy they did all that such a long time ago. Kind of reminds me of Sofia, Bulgaria. Like when you walk through the city, there's like a metro station built on top of the ruins. So it's similar to how this museum is built. Pretty cool. As you're walking through the museum to the floor, you can see through it and there's a bunch of excavated ruins down below. The worker told us you can actually walk around this park to go underneath the museum to see all the ruins. So we're gonna check that out now. So that's it for our time in Athens. We had an amazing time. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Tomorrow, we're actually getting a rent-a-car and we have a two-week road trip planned to go all over mainland Greece. We have some very exciting places coming up. So don't miss our next episode. We'll see you guys then.